All right, this is a random enemy from the toolbox. Look at look at this thing. Look at the way it's. Why is it walking like that? Do you hear that? This this is so low quality. Okay, okay, we need something better. And now let me introduce you to the advanced enemy AI script made by Script Studios. So as you can see, we have this giant red block and this giant blue block, which are two different zones. And I'm just going to walk over to this red block and I'm going to go and provoke this guy. So I'm just going to walk close to him. Ready? Watch this. So he's just minding his own business. There's a health bar and there's a name and there's a leveling system added into this. And now that I provoked him, he's trying to chase me. Look at him. He's like, uh, uh, uh. And watch. So if I actually let him attack, you can see there's actually damage indicators and damage effects. And there's actually a critical hit system added into this as well. So I'm just going to keep on running, running, running. Okay, see, now both of them are chasing me. And now if I get out of this red region, watch what happens. I'm going to get out of the red region. And both of these guys are back to minding their own business. So this is how the enemy AI system works. So in three steps, here's how it works. Step one, you define the zones that you want the enemies to spawn in. So inside of enemy zones, I have a zone one and a zone two, a red and blue. And then I have zone data. And in here, I can literally change whatever I want about these enemies. For example, in zone one, if I want 10 enemies to spawn, all I got to do is change this number six to 10. If I want, so as you can see, there's different types of enemies. So we have noob that's level one. We have classic noob level five, evil noob level 10. And they also have a weighted random system. So basically what that means is noobs, because they have higher weights, they will spawn more frequently than these guys with lower weights. So it basically has a weighted random system that chooses how often something will spawn. So all you have to do is define the enemies that you want spawned. So maybe you want noobs to now be level, maybe you want level 15 noobs here. Maybe you want level 35 classic noobs. Maybe you want a level 100 evil noob. And now, as you can see, the system intelligently figures out everything for you, including the health. So watch, if I come close, look at it. It intelligently figured out that because he's level 15, this noob needs more help. And then he begins to attack me and I'm just going to escape him. And as you can see, everything is perfectly working. Now you're probably wondering about obstacles. So what happens if an obstacle gets in the way of the enemy? Well, watch this. They're just going to spawn and they will intelligently avoid all of the obstacles. So look at this. All of the enemies are intelligently avoiding the obstacle. So even though there's a tree here, the enemies know that they shouldn't collide with the tree. So even if I go like over here, if I even if I try to provoke this guy, ready? I'm going to I'm going to try to provoke this guy. He's coming after me and I'm going to try to hide behind the tree. He intelligently goes around the tree. So watch again. Ready? Boom. He intelligently goes around the tree so that he doesn't collide with it. And the same is true for every NPC. Now, you're probably wondering what happens if an NPC dies? Now, normal NPCs just instantly disappear, and that's not really fun, right? So I made this super advanced. So if you actually kill an NPC, it ragdolls just like that, and it automatically clears itself so that your game does not lag. Once again, I will show you another NPC dying. So this one right here, it's, oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna, and as you can see, it ragdolled. So this whole thing actually includes a ragdoll engine for you for free. So you can use this engine across any of your games. Now, what if you want to change how many NPCs spawn in a zone? Like maybe 10 is too much. Well, you just have to change this number to three. And then only three NPCs will spawn in the zone. So as you can see, now there's three of them. And if I were to kill any one of these NPCs, any one of these enemies, then the system automatically spawns another one. Now, you probably thought about bosses. What if you want a random boss to appear? Well, we've thought about that as well. So right here, I've set the configuration so that there's seven maximum enemies and there's now a noob and an evil noob that may spawn. And as you can see, the noob has a weight of three and the evil noob has a weight of one. So this means that the evil noob has a 33% chance of spawning among seven enemies. So let's see how many of them spawn. And as you can see, the system is spawning all of these noobs. Let's see if any of them are evil. Here he is. So this is like the boss. As you can see, he's level 10. He has his own health bar with um, health that's automatically calculated based on his level. So after you purchase, you will get this entire place file along with everything that you see here. So you'll get all of these scripts. 
After you purchase, you'll get everything you see here. So you get damage service. So this is responsible for damage calculation. You get enemy service. This is responsible for spawning enemies. You have entity. This is responsible for making uh, NPCs walk and avoid things. You get health bar service. So this is responsible for creating the health bar and putting it onto the enemy. And then you get hitbox engine. This is responsible for the hitbox stuff. You get network, which you don't have to worry about too much. This is just server and client stuff. And you get the ragdoll engine, so this is responsible for making NPCs ragdoll when they die. And you also get stat service. So this thing, I'll kind of show it to you. This thing basically calculates the stats and you also have a critical hit rate here. So you can change this to alter the critical hit rate for your entire game. And you can see that I have commented out a lot of stuff so that even if you can't code, it tells you how this works. So. As you can see, critical hit, equal, eh, critical hit rate equals 0.1. This is the likelihood that an enemy will perform a critical hit. That is 10%. This code here basically takes an enemy's level and turns it into stats. So as you can see, this code takes an enemy's level and turns it into stats. So basically, it's all explained to you. So even if you can't code, you'll have some sort of idea as to what to do. Once you purchase, you'll get this entire place file along with a detailed video tutorial on how to use this thing. Thanks for watching.